Okay. So, looks as though uh, there's going to be some... Uh, I don't know if anybody's been paying attention. I don't know if who would be the select video, the select people that would be interested in, you know, bots possibly. Uh, unless you're just fascinated by the technology. Like the upcoming Optimus, um, Tesla's roll, like the bot that they're rolling out, it's a Gen 2. I don't know like how long that's been in development for, but they, they've already made videos in the past about their bots and stuff like that. Like they've been in like pre-production or, you know, concept phases and stuff like that. They've had prototypes and all that. Um, this is basically what I'm talking about right here. I mean, this is one graphic for other, I guess these are other countries or other companies that are making bots. I guess I'm just going to kind of talk a little bit about like, I'm kind of fascinated by some of this technology. I'm not somebody that follows it very, like, closely. Like, I'm, like, someone who is, you know, dialed into all these bots and, like, what they're supposed to be doing. And I'm assuming they're just, you know, androids that they probably have in production that are supposed to be, you know, for people with mobility issues or just people that want bots to do, like, work for them around the house or something like that. I mean... And you can see like different different companies in different countries even working on some like even like Canada and a few in the United States. It looks like the United States has been, you know, they've been working pretty hard on some bots. Like I haven't even seen any of these bots besides the Tesla and maybe some of the Boston Dynamics stuff. Like I've looked at some of the Boston Dynamics stuff because they do like some of the hardcore bots that are like jumping and you know they're like kicking them and shoving them and you know they're like going through you know they're putting them through their paces now <clears throat> tesla bot and all this stuff is not necessarily going to be on that level i think you could probably it probably i'm sure that you could probably you know it might be able to stabilize itself and do similar things but it's not meant for that it's just like meant for kind of casual use or just you know doing certain tasks around the house or Whatever job you're going to put it on, like, it might be able to do certain things. And this is still, like, early stuff, you know, so I don't know how, like, what this is going to look like. But you can look at some of these videos here. And there's also other things that are coming out that I'm just, maybe touch on briefly. That they have, like, self-driving taxis and, like, stuff that's kind of similar to, like, iRobot type stuff. Like, this is literally, like, some iRobot stuff. Like, a van that can transport um but yeah like you can kind of see some of the stuff we're talking about here and then there's people making jokes like i'm looking for one like that i'm looking for one with a little gat people know what gats are uh, like booties and stuff like that like actual female oriented ones which i've definitely you know talked to some folks about these bots some people are just kind of making jokes about it like it's like okay well you know if i'm gonna have a bot in the future then i definitely want one that's like going to be able to perform certain tasks that we won't we don't going to go to <clears throat> we don't have to go in a lot of detail about performing certain things that uh, men might want you know or women i mean maybe women too i don't know but yeah i think a lot of people are like either some people are indifferent or on the fence about this stuff the, the new tech that's coming out i'm probably somebody that's definitely more indifferent of bots and stuff like that like i could either take it or leave it because i don't know if i see myself ever owning something like this or seeing this as a practical thing to own unless i really was like you know if i became injured or if i became you know and i had the money to actually put into it like if i had the money to buy one and they perform certain tasks for you if you're injured or if you're you know having a hard time being mobile but if you're like an able-bodied person, I wouldn't see the reason to have one of these. Because I could see it from different perspectives. Like just people that want, you know, maybe a bot to clean stuff for you. Like a maid service or something like that. If you're like rich and you got it like that, you might want a bot to like just do stuff for you. And you don't have to worry about it. Or if you're somebody that just has mobility issues, that they could be, they could service you in those ways. Like helping you out around the house or picking you up even if you need to get helped up or 
stuff like that you know what i mean for other stuff i mean i don't know i really don't see too many other use cases like actual companionship bots and stuff like that if people really if it gets that far in the future and they, they're actually seen as kind of like companions or like an alternative form of a companion like it's not necessarily like having a dog or a cat it's like having like an r2d2 even uh similar to what i mean that's what elon musk even said when he was rolling out like you see one of these videos here i'm not sure if it's in this video or not one of these videos he is like talking about it as they're coming out like they're walking them out and that's basically what he said it's like it's supposed to be similar to having like your own personal r2d2 or whatever bot, you know like star wars or something like that which it could be neat I'm not saying that's bad necessarily i mean if you can afford it like he's he's even saying he's dropping price tags like it's probably going to be around 30k 30k or depending on kind of models and stuff like that i'm sure there's different this that's the only one it's going to be probably around 30k to get one of these i don't know where he says that at though I'm trying to figure out where the different uh some of these rollout videos like when they're actually walking out i don't remember where his uh like what he's talking about I'm trying to find it at least you can get some video here i'll just him talking and stuff like that or the bot talking like i don't really know what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Of electronics. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty who's, funny. Your, who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Hmm. Music artist. That's a Music tough one. Music. That's very tough. <laughs> I, I, well, I guess I am a big fan of Daft Punk. <laughs> Daft Punk is very good. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably a very good answer. Yeah. <laughs> show us how to dance to Daft Punk. Alrighty, I'll show you a few of my dances. Oh, you, you, are, you are smarter than humans? Are you yeah, smarter than humans? Backwards. I am very oh. smart. Yeah, this is cool. Are you smarter than humans? <laughs> Okay, so I mean, that's just the bot kind of like interacting with people. Um, it seems like innocent enough. I don't see there being like a huge issue with stuff like that. It's fascinating. That's all I can say is that's a really fascinating thing to see what this could look like for the future and stuff like that. Like bot bartenders and people, you know, them just kind of hanging around and dancing and just, I don't know. I can see like a lot of like higher upper echelon people maybe getting a hold of these and using them for whatever, you know, just doing stuff around their houses or having a little companion that's kind of like having like a little droid companion. I could be that could be interesting. So I am optimistic in that sense that if you're using it for that purpose and if you have just money to burn, you could probably like spend it on something like that and just have a a bot companion just for something to do you know uh, something that'd be fun <clears throat> but again it is a very niche like a very niche thing to have for the time being until they could become more normalized and like cheaper to get obtain them too because there will be maybe a future where they're like similar to like computers similar to phones and all that stuff they'll be cheaper models they'll be easier to obtain you know, maybe another 10 years from now, maybe five, 10 years from now, they'd probably be a little bit easier to get a hold of if you are going to actually get one of these types of things. We're already coming up on 10 minutes for this video. Um, like I said, you can look up further stuff on this, like Elon Musk even saying the stuff that I'm saying here, like them being like 30K. Like, I don't know which video it is. I'm trying to remember which one it is. He's not talking in that video, so I'm guessing it must be like hidden somewhere. I don't know. It's one of the videos, probably even on the Tesla uh, X or whatever. You know, if you look at their account, but I'm not looking at it. I don't feel like it. All it is is just a bot, you know, that's 
being rolled out and i'm just kind of talking about it giving some updates that they said i think it's officially i'm not sure if it's meant for consumer like if it's consumer released right now or if it's just on the horizon they're going to be releasing it um, i'm not sure if you can even get a hold, hold of one of these yet but it's probably going to be in the future very near future you'll be able to get one of those things and you know i guess it's yet to be seen what that's going to be like um but <clears throat> like i said i'm kind of optimistic yet i'm just kind of weary of the future with bots and stuff like that because i'm definitely of the i'm more hesitant to really dive into that kind of stuff myself i don't think i'm really going to have much of a use for it in my the way that i am like being a 33 year old male just doing my own thing i don't see much of a use case for it right now other people you know they might they might see it for other purposes even female companionship if they do like actual variants that are like that someday like that could be a ways off though 10 years from now who knows <clears throat> if it gets that far you know so yeah that's all i'm gonna say little just on the fence about it but it is you know it's a little like uh surreal like i said i've said that in the other video that i made that i didn't put out but it just feels surreal to be living in that time period a little bit but you know we'll see what the future holds and that's all i'm going to say about it for now i might come back to vi videos like this and update stuff like this you know other things in the future so like comment do those things i'll be uh, seeing you around